Hey everyone, welcome to my SAM cart review video. Uh, so today what I'm going to do is give you a tour of SAM cart, um, break down a few of the features and then really talk about the pros and cons. And before I get started, I do want to let you know that this video is going to be, well it's not going to be as long as the article that I wrote, a full on article for SAM cart. So it's right here. So if you really want to get like the full review, understand the pros and cons fully, as you can see here, this is the table of contents for the review article, then uh, make sure to check the article out at the end um, and you'll find out things like basically all the SAM cart features and what I think about it. Uh, even the advanced features, wh which we won't get to uh, in this video, just because the video would be rather way too long. We might briefly cover these actually. Uh, the overall pros and cons, SAM cart pricing options are, is going to be broken down uh, and ultimately if SAM cart is the right choice for you. So I break it down, I boil it, boil it down to uh, two questions that you have to ask yourself when you're deciding if SAM cart is right for you. So make sure to read this part. Uh, I end it and then there are SAM cart alternatives which I'll mention in this video as well. All right, let's get right into it. I've already created a demo product here just for this review. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on it. And as you can see here, there are six tabs here that you can configure different settings for your checkout pages and whatnot. But let's start off with the details tab. Okay, so obviously there's the product name, there's the internal name, you can call it something else here for SAMCART, and the URL. This is what your store is going to be called. So as you can see, FBB store, that's your um, store name. You're going to be asked that once you create an account. So that's going to be different for you. But then you can always control the slug here towards the end. All right, description for the course. You can upload a product image. Uh, the price you can control here. If you have a custom uh, thank you page URL, for example, on your own website, you want to create a thank you page from that, you would put that in this field here, tags if you want them, and here's where you're going to decide what type of product this is. So there's digital, and if you do decide on choosing the physical option, there's going to be different settings, as you can see. For this tutorial, we're going to stick with the digital slash service option. All right, so next up in this product details tab is coupons. So you are able to create coupons with SAMCART and their coupon code. So this could be like summer uh, 2019, for example, and you can decide if you only want it to apply once and things of that nature. Do you want it to be percentage, a flat rate, etc. All right, so you can add as many as those as you want, actually. For now, I'm going to turn that off. Next up is the checkout design page or the template library. So you're going to be choosing from these templates right here. So some of you might have been looking for a template page on the SAMCART website so you can see the templates and unfortunately I couldn't find one. Um, it's only once you gain access that you can actually see the templates so this is it um, without you having to get it. So I chose this one and as you can see these are good looking checkout templates. The only thing that I didn't like is that you can't really preview them although they do, do let you preview them. Let me click this real quick. You'll see that it's not all filled out. You have to put in that information, but it would be nice to at least have like the default, um, the default items that you see on these little preview showcase squares uh, in the template, right? So this one, you also can't see everything. Once you start adding more things into the settings area, as we'll cover, uh, you'll start seeing more details and the checkout cart filled out basically. So let's exit out of those. That is the template library tab here. So next up is payments, and this is where you would add your processor, whether it be PayPal or Stripe. Those are the only two payment options or processors available for SAMCART as of today. Unfortunately, they don't have other payment gateways like Authorize.net or Apple Pay or Google Pay and um, other gateways, um, which is a little weird because Thrivecart, their main competitor, offers it and they are not a monthly price. You would think with a monthly price point of at least $99 per month that SAMCAR would provide more payment gateways, 
but that's just my two cents there. So next up is the upsells tab, which controls the order bumps and the upsells. Okay, so let me explain this and break it down because this is where uh, Samcart has another con. It just starts becoming a little inconvenient. So there's a little uh, back and forth that you have to handle when it comes to order bumps and upsells. And for those of you who don't know what an order bump is, I'm just going to switch over to my article here. It looks something like this. It's that extra, hey, do you want X for X amount of money on top of the total price point that I'm selling for? So it's just a little extra that you can give. This is what a Sam Cart checkout example. All right, so if you want to set something like that up, it, which is called an order bump, you actually have to select a product. And guess what? You can't add one from this page. You actually have to add a product, a new product, and use that as the bump offer. So I'm not going to do this right now because as you can see it's rather tedious but I'll just go through these motions without cl clicking this button. Um, you would click one time, yes, uh, so this is $10 one time and create product. Actually you know what, that's fine. I'll just do that real quick. Yeah, 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 save changes. Okay, let's go back here. I'm going to refresh this page. Go back to upsells. And then you can see that the bump offer is here. Now I can select it. Okay, so here's where you would fill out the order bump uh, description, like so. And here's one last thing about order bumps. If you wanted to change the actual bump offer pricing, you cannot do it from this upsell tab. You would have to go back into your products and choose the bump offer product and then change the price and then click save and then head back to the main product and things will be updated the way you want. Um, that's a little, um, a little bit of a hassle, a little bit of a con for Sam card, I think. Um, the upsell behaves somewhat similar and this is how, okay? So let's switch to this tab and we're gonna go to upsells here click upsell and the upsell tab is basically just like a product page on Samcart's dashboard uh, but they're upsells if that makes sense it's so here's where you would title your upsell name the description uh, and then you would choose the product that you want th to add the upsell to okay so let's just say um, this one here is the one I want to create the upsell for and this would be OTO uh, one demo is what I'll call it. Okay. And then here is where I would fill out the information uh, for the upsell. And you can always preview things on Sa in Samcart. As you can see, there's nothing there to view. Uh, there's more settings as you can see. I'm not going to go through all of these, but they are customizable. So once you have this set up, you can go to upsells and funnels. Now we're going to create a funnel. We're going to call this the KP demo funnel for this tutorial. And this one is going to have this OTO one demo. We're just going to click save changes. And then let's go, let's see if it, yeah, it's not recognizing it yet. And refresh the page. Now we're going to have the KP demo funnel. And you do have the ability to split test those, but let's quick save changes. And there we go. That's how we set up a funnel or an upsell funnel in Samcart. And these are the settings basically on how to do it. You could have up to five upsells and or downsells. All right, so let's move on to the last two tabs here, which this next one is integrations. And this is uh, an important setting. This is where you would click new rule, right? And create, for example, a trigger. So let's say when, when somebody purchases my product, I want them added to my email uh, marketing tool, active campaign, for example. Then I'm gonna click next step. And of course it's gonna say, whoops, there's no integrations activated because I've not activated my integrations um, in the settings section, which is here, you would click here and there's a settings area for my account, but you get the idea. There's a lot of different automations, uh, triggers that you can set up here. 
And the last tab here, which is the advanced settings tab, this is where you would insert your scripts. This could be your Facebook uh, pixel. It could be a lot of these other type of pixels that you would add into your checkout page. I'm not sure what you're using. It, it could be different third party pixels, okay? Um, as you can see, there's a lot of customization that you can do. You can even uh, split test, A-B test, okay? And when you A-B test, it's actually quite easy. What you would do is click the new test variation. I've already done that here. And as you can see, the original one is called C or abbreviated as C. And then the uh, split test B or variation B is called V2. And if this was a live running funnel or checkout page on SAM cart, then it would start rotating these two indefinitely and eventually I'll see which one converts better. So you can edit both of these settings. So right now we're in the control variation settings. That's what we've been editing so far. If I wanted to edit the version two settings, then all I would have to do is click on this button and then I would be put back into the product details page and then the URL would be different, okay? The URL changes, that's how you'll know you're editing the alternative variation. All right, so let's start wrapping up this video. Uh, I'll quickly touch on SamCart's advanced features, which are only available through the premium plan, which is starting at $199 per month. So they do have a built-in dunning software when you do uh, have the premium plan. And the dunning software is basically uh, a, a software that helps people who have a subscription-based business. Um, so let's say somebody's card gets expired. Um, instead of losing that customer, a dunning software notices that that credit card has been expired and then reaches out to the customer via email and tries to automate that whole process of recovering the person's uh, credit card information as you see here in this image. All right, so that is available through Dunning, their Dunning system. Now their affiliate center is quite unique and it's actually a long explanation on what makes it unique. So I'll leave that for my review to handle here. Um, I do talk about the pros and cons between Thrivecart's affiliate center and Samcart's affiliate center. I do believe it's a tie when it comes to those two battling it out when it comes to affiliate centers. The pros and cons are listed here, the pricing differentiations, and if Samcart is right for you, um, definitely check out this article, guys. I'm gonna leave a link to this review article in the video description, so make sure to check that out. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.